welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw. It is the night after Mania. Finally. If you've been waiting on it, it's taken about a week to make, so there we go. <laughs> but either way, people, it is the night after Mania. We've somehow made it to Ohio. But here we go, man. Always an interesting night. Well, first things first, we are being joined by the leader of that empire, Roman's empire, Roman Reigns, who failed in the main event of WrestleMania to grab the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That belt stays on SmackDown, or at least for one more week. The Superstar Shake-Up is still a way of getting the top prize on Monday Night Raw. Everyone, shut your damn mouths. If I was out here for all of you, well, no, I'm not even going to go down that route because I ain't out here for you. I am out here for me. Last night was about my empire and getting back what is mine and being the top dog round here again. Now, last night, Roman's empire. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, they brought in the Tag Team Championships. And believe me, there'll be some new belts coming as well, because we are all about gold. Adam Cole, well, he was unlucky, but you know what? I could let Adam Cole go. He was in a ladder match with seven other men, and just like I was in a match with three other men, and I wasn't beat to not win that match. And Drew, Big Drew, brought home the Intercontinental Championship against five other men. I think all you people should round of applause for Drew. And then, of course, we've got... Well, I think he was about to mention Finn Balor, who, part of Roman's empire, failed last night one-on-one -on -one with SmackDown's Daniel Bryan. As well, here comes Finn Balor. He is part of Roman's empire. He's supposed to be Roman's number two, but he's been a little bit on the rocks the last few weeks. Right, right, I know where you're going, Roman. I lost to Daniel Bryan, right? You are garbage. Absolute garbage. One on one. I would have beaten anyone one on one. AJ Styles, Braun Strowman, The Miz. I would have beaten either one of those three in a one on one match. Hell, I'd have beaten Daniel Bryan one on one last night. You know, you're right, Roman. You are right. I've, I've been letting it slip in previous weeks. You think? If I'm the big dog, you're the little dog. You have been the weak link of this empire since I returned. You're right, Roman. You're right. You gave me the chance to lead the Undisputed Era when you had to go away and fight leukemia. You came back, it's rebranded, it's the Empire, and we are meant to take over. And I haven't been pulling my weight. Correct. So, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to show everyone that the Empire is strong. We run this place. And we are going to build it up. Add more, take more. Watch how you say that. Add more. Add more to Roman's empire. Make it bigger, make it better. That's what you're saying, right? Well, me and the boys were talking. 
And we think we need to lose weight, not add to it. What does that mean? Roman's leaving. And Finn's in the ring. What the hell does that mean? And go! And go! Why was the referee taken down? And... What is this? And... Oh, God! And look at this. And O'Reilly... Jesus. And oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And oh, good God. And now... And about a double team here. And oh, come on, come on. And oh, good God. And Adam Cole, they're all getting shots in here. Well, I guess that's what they meant by losing weight. As Kyle O'Reilly now makes a tag. And oh, God, here comes... The double team here, and down goes Bala. And oh, man. Well, I think it's safe to say when Roman Reigns said it was time to lose weight. I mean, look at that. A super kick took him out. And those suplexes by Kyle O'Reilly. Bobby Fish just dropped him with a neck breakup. Adam Cole, he planted a shot. That's for damn sure. And then the double team... And I think it's safe to say when Roman Reigns said he's been talking to the boys, it's time to lose weight. It looks like Finn Balor is no longer part of the Empire as the new tag team champions. And Adam Cole, it looks like Finn Balor has just been ejected. Well, speaking of the Empire, here's one of the members who was successful last night. That six-pack challenge at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. Drew McIntyre is the Intercontinental Champion. Well, he was laughing backstage moments ago with the rest of them. And Drew McIntyre, he's got gold. And as Roman said... Says Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish will have gold soon enough. Remember, it was Adam Cole when he won the Cruiserweight Championship. He changed the belt to gold. And it sounds like it's the exact same thing they've got in mind. As well. Drew McIntyre. Well, he's all right. He is very happy with himself. And well, Drew and... Oh, wait a minute. Well, this man went through hell to get into the main event last night. And, well, Drew doesn't look too happy. As I don't think this is quite what he was wanting. And, oh, and Strowman is making his way to the ring. And, oh, God, I don't think he's in a good mood. I don't think he's in a good mood. There's old Drew caught him there just as he came in the ring. And oh God, Strowman's right back onto him. And Strowman. Is and oh, Strowman. Who had, who, well, he, the Royal Rumble winner. And he had to beat Brock Lesnar to get into that main event last night. My God, what a main event it was at WrestleMania. And, oh, God. It's all Drew, man, with a German. And Drew getting all over him here. It's all Braun, though. 
Doesn't seem to be in the mood for wasting time tonight, does he? And, oh, God. And Braun Strowman not in a good mood at not winning the WWE Championship last night. That is very obvious. And, oh, God, the drop kick. As Braun Strowman now off the ropes. Right, to get the boot up there. Drew is still putting up fight here. Or at least he's trying. And Braun Strowman right now. As Braun. Oh, God, he's got Drew up here. And Drew taken down. Broad Strowman cutting him in half there. And no oh God. Well, Broad Strowman is in no mood tonight. All that battling he done at WrestleMania. He beat Brock Lesnar early on in the show. What a prediction that was, eh? Had Brock Lesnar near enough in the first part. And oh man, and look at Drew, he is trying to roll away here. The new Intercontinental Champion not getting the uh, planned celebration tonight. I think he was hoping for has dropped on the steel steps. And Braun Strowman. And, oh, good, look, he's throwing him around like he's a cruiserweight. Oh, my God. And, oh, man, up on his feet here is and Drew fighting back. Oh, God. Drew McIntyre is being manhandled right now. This is not the night that Drew was planning on. And oh man, I think Drew just fell over that time. God! And oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Oh God, Drew! As oh, no, oh, we get caught again. He tried there. As we all know, what he was calling for. Is look at Drew, he is trying his hardest right now to get back into this. Give him credit. The Scotsman's putting up the fight. And, oh God, he's got him in the throat. What's he doing? Oh, right in the gut. And Broad Strowman seems to just be playing with Drew right now. The new Intercontinental Champion, the main champion of Raw, is having a horrible time. Oh, does the Empire know this is happening right now? Oh, God. As Strowman picks him up. I'll give him credit. He is not giving up here. He is not giving up. My Braun Strowman is not in the mid tonight. And Strowman is stalking him out. And Strowman has him up. And down with the power slam. And the leg is hooked of Drew McIntyre. My God, Braun Strowman just went through our new Intercontinental Champion.
Drew put up a better fight, but my God, Rod Strowman was in no mood tonight, and Drew McIntyre is no man that gets squashed out like that anymore. My God, Strowman just not in the mood. Absolutely demolished Drew McIntyre tonight. And Broad Strowman obviously was hoping to be WWE champion. And after all the fighting he'd done to get where he got, he came up short. And man, he was not in the mood tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias, the former Intercontinental Champion. Oh, reception like that, I sometimes wonder if you guys are ever going to stop cheering. In fact, I wonder about that every time I come out here. Especially last night, when you all stopped cheering for me. Oh, you just... Yous were all cheering for, for John Cena and, and Kevin Owens. Yous weren't cheering for Elias. All this fighting, playing, try to be funny, try to entertain all of you people. Making a mark in the WWE isn't going to happen. Coming into this ring every week and sucking up to every single one of you parasites in the crowd. I was made to defend my Intercontinental Championship last night against five other men. I wasn't even pinned to lose the damn thing. I'm going to be what I've always been. I am a drifter and I walk alone and I do not need any one of you to support me. Well, Elias, eh, uh, not happy with the crowd, apparently, and it seems that Elias has turned on the fans because he believes the fans have turned on him. Well... The women are dominant on Raw. All the women's gold is on Monday Night Raw. As still the women's champion in WWE, Bailey somehow retained in that fatal four-way against Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. The belt stays on Raw. Or at least for another week. God knows what happens on the next episode. And Bailey somehow retained the first woman to pin Ronda Rousey. And she retained at WrestleMania in that fatal four way. I'm fine with that. Everyone was rooting for Becky in real life. That's fair. I was happy to root for Bailey in this. And Bailey. Truly has culminated now in WWE. I think giving her a rivalry with Sasha Banks. First woman to beat Ronda Rousey. Winning the women's title, retaining it in a four way at Mania. I think Bailey has truly made it as her opponent tonight. <laughs> Look who's back. Ember Moon has been out with an injury. And unlike just randomly returning her without an entrance. In a battle royal. Let's do it the right way. Ember Moon. Who in this universe. We need to go back to the Evolution pay-per-view. 
where she went one-on-one -on -one with Ronda Rousey. And Ronda Rousey, kind of like she did to Bailey at Elimination Chamber, she took a cheap shot. When Ronda Rousey beat Bailey at Elimination Chamber, it was a rake to the eyes and then dropped her to beat her. And if you go back to Evolution, when Ember Moon challenged Ronda Rousey in this universe, Ronda Rousey pulled her down on the ropes to beat her. If there's someone that was happy to see... If there was someone that was happy to see Bailey get that win, it was Ember Moon. But Ember Moon is back, and there's something she's wanted for a while. And it is the Women's Championship. And she's got a non-title match. Ember Moon is back. But she's about to go one-on-one -on -one with the Women's Champion. And well, Ember Moon not going to waste any time here taking Bailey down. And Ember Moon as Bailey then in a tie up here. And referee having to split that one up. As Bailey on Ember Moon now. Well, Ember Moon. Is Ember Moon? No! Oh, come on, ref! As, wait a minute, as the referee is down. Well, there's Alexa Bliss. Well, I think there's plenty of women that all want the next shot at Bailey. As the referee is kind of back up after being smacked there, as Ember Moon. After Ember Moon taking herself out, rolls up Bailey. Bailey, the way, but he get out of it. And Alexa Bliss is out here now, as I think there is a list of women who all want a shot at Bailey. And after everything that's came out, Nia Jax has got two torn ACLs. She is out for nearly a year. So we will not be seeing Nia in this universe, probably until the next game. Ronda Rousey, she's going to be out for the same broken wrist. Not to mention she wants to have a kid, so. I don't think we'll be seeing Ronda Rousey back anytime soon either. And I think it's safe to say we might not be seeing Sasha Banks anytime soon. Which is a shame because I had something planned tonight for Sasha and Nia. Those things are both out the window. As Ember Moon, to be fair, I'm happy enough to tell you my plan tonight was Sasha Banks was going to run in during Bailey's entrance dressed in Empire gear and she was going to reignite her rivalry with Bailey, and that was going to be the plan Sasha Banks did win the Battle Royal at Wrestlemania but we get to go with real life she is uh, out of there I need to say she's just not happy with me for putting on the Battle Royal although if Bailey hadn't beaten Ronda Rousey for the title that wouldn't have happened as Bailey. Takes Ember Moon down. And Bailey is up top here, and she might be thinking, and, oh, I thought she was going to go elbow instead, coming over that splash right at the knees while Alexa Bliss is still out here, still watching on. And right through her there. And Alexa Bliss, who we have seen in a few matches. She's just been, uh, we've seen her in a couple of matches, uh, just trying to kind of get the ring rust off. I mean, she was the WrestleMania host. And it looks like her hosted duties are over. She has been cleared to compete for a while, and it looks like Alexa's got her eyes on Bailey, Eyes on the women's champion. And Ember Moon is back, and she might have the same idea. Ember Moon, obviously, if she can return tonight. Pin and defeat Bailey is Ember Moon. You are just back from injury, Ember. What are you doing? Ember Moon, top rope to the outside. Didn't quite get all of it. That was a risk, high risk. As Bailey. And up, Bailey here up on the outside. Going for a suplex on the outside. Ember Moon over the back. And Ember Moon getting into the ring. Is Bailey able to catch her there? Sends her straight into the corner, right through the back of her. Oh. 
Hand bomb moon. Ah, it's Bailey. Back up to her feet. What a right hand there. There's Bailey right on to her. And down with the neck breaker. As Bailey into the cover. And these two tie up there. Bailey hitting her off again and all over the top rope. And oh, Bailey now. Bailey. And now Bailey, the one thinking of jumping to the outside. And Bailey and Ember Moon just slapped that out of the way. And oh, the right hand. As Ember Moon sends her into the corner. So, oh, Bailey. She was waiting for her there. And Bailey was waiting for her. She waited and got her right into the corner. She suckered her into that move. Hooks the leg of Ember Moon. And shoulder up. And wait a minute. Alexa is on the apron. Trying to get the attention here. And German suplex. Oh, sorry. It's burped. Pardon me. And Ember Moon. Trying to get on to Bailey here. Is all watch out. And Bailey. Able to catch her there with the legs. And Bailey right back on again with a suplex. And Bailey. And Bailey catches her. Bailey to Bailey. Hooks the leg of Ember Moon. Shoulder up from Ember Moon. Bailey cannot believe it. Ember Moon, man, Bailey is all over her. Here she goes. Ooh, and Bailey coming at you. And scoops her up and down. That is taking a lot to keep Ember Moon down right now. As Ember caught her with an arm drag there. As all oh, up onto the shoulders. Ember Moon just planted her. As, oh, Ember Moon going up top here. And Ember Moon. Ember Moon going for an eclipse. And hooks the leg. Oh, Bailey's out of it now. Oh, man, I thought that was it. And Ember Moon is Bailey up. Bailey goes right through her. Is it? Oh, Bailey. She might be thinking that elbow. And oh, here she goes. Macho Man style. Elbow connects. Bailey off the top rope. Planted the elbow. And Bailey gets the win. Despite Alexa trying to get involved. And man, oh man, the Lemba Moon, it's her first night back. She showed plenty of fight. And Ember Moon can still hold her head up high. I mean, she kicked out right there. And man, Bailey got it. Ash did. It landed quite awkwardly looking as well. Maybe if it landed a bit more perfect. Well, Alexa Bliss came out here, tried to get Bailey's attention. Well, Ember Moon is back, and she's got her eyes on Bailey. And Alexa Bliss, without a doubt, has her eyes on the women's championship. Well, this man 
I believe was the man that might have taken a pinfall from Drew actually in the six pack challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. There was a lot of men that wanted it. And we can tell you we've got a main event tonight, people. Roman Reigns, Kyle O'Reilly, Adam Cole, and Bobby Fish, Roman's Empire. They will be in action when they go up against the former tag team champions, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. The extreme champion, Seth Rollins, and their partner tonight, John Cena. Well, Kevin Owens out here. Superstar shake-up next week. God knows who's going to switch where. As for now, though, no. wait a minute. And, whoa, look who's here. And, well, Kevin Owens realises it's the NXT North American Champion. And, well... The Velveteen Dream is on Raw, at least for a week. And Velveteen Dream, he is here. The North American Champion, he retained that belt at NXT TakeOver. And Velveteen Dream, as of right now, the North American Champion is on Monday Night Raw, and well, if anyone knows anything about showing up in the main roster with a championship belt, it is Kevin Owens. When he made his debut, he was the NXT champion. And Velveteen Dream is Kevin Owens. He's smiling. He's like, all right, let's do this. Kevin Owens and the Velveteen Dream. are about to go one on one. Well, flamboyant as always. As here we go. And, oh, well, he went low there. Goes drop kick. And... Oh, straight into the legs here. And that one, the drop kick connected. It's Velveteen Dream right now. And oh man, overhead. Is the Velveteen Dream coming out at 100% here. As oh, took out the leg. And a drop kick connects again. And oh, Velveteen's going up high. As top rope, Velveteen comes off with the axe handle. And oh, he's going up again here. And oh, back into the ring. And off he comes again. And the Velveteen dream right now. I don't think Kevin Owens was quite expecting this. As, oh, up, over, Velveteen Man is all over him right now. It's all scoops under. It's Velveteen. Oh, Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens goes right through him there. As, wait a minute. Well, he went for a pin, and Kevin Owens took him down, went for a pin there, as Baron, is that Baron Corbin? Baron Corbin's in the ring, and Baron Corbin with Kevin Owens, what the hell? And what the hell is Baron Corbin doing as Velveteen Dream realizes he's Baron Corbin just ruined this match? And Baron Corbin just dropped Kevin Owens. The end of days, Baron Corbin was in that Intercontinental Championship match. Someone obviously isn't in a good mood. Oh, 
Well, backstage, the Divas of Doom just said they're going to do an open challenge for the women's tag champ. Well, wait a minute. Well, what the hell are they doing here? Well, that is the former women's tag team champions from SmackDown. They lost at WrestleMania to the Divas of Doom, Natalia and Beth Phoenix, who just announced that they're going to do an open challenge for the women's tag titles and... The Iconics are out here. We can also tell you Baron Corbin stormed that interview with the Divas of Doom. And Baron Corbin simply said Kevin Owens got what he deserved for costing him his Intercontinental Championship. So he's blaming Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens got pinned in that six-pack challenge. Baron Corbin blaming him. As the Iconics are... In well, the Iconics have just grabbed a mic and said, we accept the open challenge. That's not how it works, Iconics. Yous are not part of this roster. Not yet anyway, maybe next week. As, well, there's Beth Phoenix, one half of the women's tag team champions. Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Natalia with that sharpshooter won those women's tag team championships for them well they said they were going to do an open challenge and well here comes Natalia is this happening the Iconics are not in this roster I mean if, if Natalia and Beth lose these belts just like that these belts go back to Smackdown and Raw loses them I don't think it's worth putting that on the line surely Raw should come first and well here comes Natalia and well it would appear Natalia and Beth are saying let's do it they're accepting the challenge from the Iconics. Well, this is SmackDown versus Raw again. Beth Phoenix, of course, is, well, pretty much a free agent. Natalia is property of Raw. So when they won those belts, they moved to Raw. Well, the Iconics representing SmackDown here seem to be getting away with this. This is happening. The Iconics are fired up here. We've got a WrestleMania rematch. Twenty-four hours. We've got a WrestleMania rematch as Billy Kay, the Iconics, want their women's tag team championships back. And well, I guess Beth Phoenix and Natalia are more than happy to oblige as Billy Kay taking over the top rope. Well, we've seen a few things tonight. A debut from NXT. A very pissed off Strowman. Finn Balor's been kicked out of the Roman's Empire. Ember Moon has returned. Bloody two SmackDown superstars competing on Raw here. Which I know in real life is not exactly a shocking thing to happen during a brand split. But in my universe it doesn't happen. Because they're meant to be competing. It's Beth and Billy Kay are having themselves a fight right now. And Billy. And Beth switching Peyton around. Peyton getting the elbow up there. Billy Kay fell off the apron as Peyton takes her down. Well, if the Iconics win these belts back, the belts instantly go to SmackDown. It's like that. Raw loses them. The original plan was for this match to be Nia Jackson to be the <laughs> So that went out the window. I didn't know who else to put in the match. And a roll up there. And oh, good God, that was close. As Beth, Beth Phoenix, who looked like she hadn't lost a step at WrestleMania. She's going to go and tag Natalia in.
And Natalia takes Peyton down. It was Natalia that won the match for the team. Locked in that sharp shooter. And Peyton Roy snaps her down. And oh, well, Peyton went for her favourite move. Her favourite move isn't a neck wrench. Hers is that bloody kick. As oh, we're going to get some double team Divas of Doom right now. As up onto the shoulder, everyone's second favourite move, though, right on the top rope. And Peyton takes the opportunity to run right back in as Beth done a taunt there and caught with a kick there. As Peyton. And oh, wait a minute, and Peyton Royce. Oh, and Beth. Well, she was stalking there. Maybe thinking that Venus flytrap. Beth with that, though. And oh, she's going up. Could be Glam Slam. As she hooks the leg of Peyton Royce. Who kicks out of the Grand Slam. Beth Phoenix can't believe it. Beth Phoenix won many a title with that move. And Natalia's got to get right back onto her here. That glam slam might not have kept her down for the three count, but it's definitely done some damage. As Peyton Royce right now is being stretched out. Peyton, able to go round into a cover there. Scoops her up, Peyton down the back, able to drop Natalia. And the brutal neck wrench! Oh, the neck wrench! Everyone's favourite move, except Peyton. She only does it because she has to. And all right, and a belated choke. I'll give Peyton credit. Kick it out of that glam slam. They do want those women's titles. They help you remember how the Iconics won them. As up there it is. There's her favourite move. Pacha. At least she's only done it once in this match so far. As, oh, and well, that's what Natalia thinks of that move. And oh, trying to grab the legs there. She might have been thinking sharpshooter. And Peyton tag it out. And oh, watch out. A cheap shot there, and well, Natalia able to fight them both off. Oh, went for the discus, didn't connect. And Billy scoops her up and drops her on her head. And that all came from Peyton Royce. That little distraction there, that little grab. And God, there's that boot right in the face. It's into the cover as Peyton catches her. And the Iconics win them back, I don't believe it. The Iconics have won back the Women's Tag Team Championships. That little moment, that little distraction. Peyton Royce, that little moment there where she just grabbed Natalia. Natalia managed to kind of fight out of it. She went for the discus, get caught. She got dropped on her head, then booted right in the face. There it was there, she went for the discus. She dropped her right in her head and then that big boot right in the face and I don't believe it. The Iconics just took back the Women's Tag Team Championships 24 hours after losing them. The Iconics are the new Women's Tag Team Champions. Raw just lost these belts. Beth Phoenix cannot believe it. Peyton was able to stop her from breaking the pin and the Iconics not looking their usual jokey selves there. They were serious tonight. We have seen the Iconics be jokey and annoying and we have seen them be hardcore and sadistic. And they had a goal tonight and they done that goal.
Well, being joined by the Hall of Famer, the retired Kurt Angle. So I'm going to get right to the point. So the career's over. Might not have ended quite how I planned it. There is something I've got to say, though. I didn't mind if I lost Bobby Lashley. He's bigger, he's fitter, he's younger. But the disrespect he actually showed to me after that match. Bobby Lashley, in all honesty, I know you are not that much of a disrespectful person. And I want to ask you to join me in this ring and apologise to me and show some integrity. And Kurt Angle wants uh, an apology from Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, who beat Kurt Angle in his retirement match at WrestleMania. And when the match was over, he stomped on him. And I called him a prick. <laughs> And well, here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley walks around the WWE thinking he's a, a big fish. Oh, Bobby's shaking his head. I think Bobby Lashley might actually be apologising here. And, uh, he's looking a bit... All right, Kurt, all right. I'm sorry, Kurt. I apologize. Well, I thank you, Bobby. You know what? I'm happy you won the match. I'm happy you could push on in your career. Maybe that win can be something that helps take you to the next level. As I said, I'm sorry, Kurt, that I completely humiliated you at WrestleMania. I beat you like you were nothing in your last match. I put you down and out and showed you the respect of no man. What happened to you, Bobby? You used to be a respectful fighter. I show the exact same respect to you, the people in the back, everyone in this arena, that they show me. No respect, so that's it. So, Kurt, you're retired. Get out of my ring. Your ring? You want me to get out of your ring? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I will need to get out of this ring because you've got a match next, don't you? Ah. Yeah, I was told I had a match. You know what? I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Because I'm going to put them down just like I put you down at WrestleMania. Yeah, you did, Bobby. And when you are an old man and accomplished nothing in your career, you can tell everyone how you beat an old Kurt Angle who wasn't at his best anymore in his last match. You can, you can tell everyone how you beat me. At the end of the day, Bobby, 10 years ago, I would have destroyed you and made you tap in seconds. So you stay cute, Twinkle Toes, because you've got a match coming up next, and I'm going to be at ringside in his corner. Come on out here, man. Well, cuts it ringside, and well, he was in Kurt Angle's corner at WrestleMania. And, and it is Apollo Crews who I've picked in the wrong ring gear. Shit, ah, who cares, he's out here for a fight. And Apollo Crews. Still got those WrestleMania joggies on. Ah, who cares about ring gear, he's out here for a fight. Apollo doesn't have his ring gear on, he doesn't care as he runs it. Bobby, Bobby just picks him up and slams him down. 
There's all Apollo though, right up. And Apollo Cruz, who cares about right gear? He's here for a fight tonight. The disrespect from Bobby Lashley there. The disrespect last night is Leo Rush at ringside as well. Just as disrespectful as Bobby Lashley. And Apollo Crews coming for revenge on behalf of Cut Angle right now. Coming after Bobby Lashley, the man who will forever now be known in this universe is the man who retired Cut Angle. And old Bobby with a big right hand there. And Bobby Lashley. As up behind them now. And Apollo Cruz. And oh man, and Lashley throws him. I think Apollo not being in his ring gear could affect him. He's pulled the upset on him before. Can he do it again? As Lashley. And oh man, what a shot there. It's all oh, just grabbing the arms there and over. Good God. He landed perfectly for that. It's Apollo. Trying to fight back here. The Apollo Cruz has pulled this upset before. As always, scoops up up and down. And Bobby Lashley, right into a Boston Crab here. Still got that big eight-man tag main event to come. And down to the floor. Fighting on the outside now. Just watch out for Leo Rush there. As Apollo Cruz, we'd love to get that that victory over Lashley right now. I think Bobby Lashley's ego has never been bigger than it is right now. And Bobby Lashley, as he takes Apollo out the ring again. And look at Leo and all oh, right under the apron. And a cheap shot from Leo Rush there as he bounced him right off the apron. And now Lashley bounces him off the apron. A cheap shot by Leo Rush. As Apollo Chill try to fight back here. And Bobby Lashley again using the apron. And into the ring, Bobby Lashley. He is all over this man right now as Apollo scoops him up. And oh, he's holding him, showing that strength. And oh man, and drops him. Oh, he's busted open for these shots on the apron as well. That could do it, man. He's busted open here as he hooks the leg. And Bobby Lashley beats Apollo Crews. Cut angle. Can't believe it. Leo Rush getting involved in this match as well. Disrespectful. Utter disrespect for Bobby Lashley. As, and wait a minute. No, 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 not again. And no, just like WrestleMania. Just like WrestleMania. Stomping on him and stomping on him. His cut angle. Wants to come into the ring, but he knows he's outnumbered by Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush. And Bobby Lashley, so oh God, he truly is a prick.
Well, eight-man tag team action for the main event tonight. After Finn Balor was kicked out of the Empire to open the show. And this match was made. Roman's Empire wants to have a fight. They can have one, and even one. That's going to be Roman Reigns, Adam Cole, the new tag team champions, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Well, they've definitely got a team to go up against tonight. If we ever get there, that is. Oh, my God, game. Oh yeah, I still have that music there. Good God, I've got so much stuff. The little things you need to edit as well. I suppose they're still using that music as well. And well, there is the tag team champions. And there's Roman Reigns. They are Empire. Roman's Empire. There's one more still to come out. They look about three at a time. Should put four man entrances in this game. And if you can have an eight man tag, you may as well be able to have four guys in a faction come out together. Just a few generic entrances, doesn't it? Be anything special. Maybe a four horseman one, that'd be good. Well, there's the other one. Well, the other member of the Empire, I don't know. We're pretty sure. Well, I've, I'm pretty sure he's not gone. He'll be back in a few weeks, a couple of weeks. See, to be honest, see, see if this whole Dean Ambrose thing of saying he's leaving only because he, he's literally been announced for a few house shows and he's been announced for an episode of Raw like in the coming weeks, which means see if they've done all this stupid storyline of Ambrose is leaving and it's literally just so they can go, oh look, no he didn't. It is one of the dumbest storyline things they have done. But as it stands in this, Rollins and Ambrose went to war for apparently the last time. They went to war over the Extreme Championship. And Seth Rollins, he came out victor in that match. And Dean Ambrose, of course, is part of the Empire. He is not here tonight, not after the match they had. That match was a bloodbath. Ambrose and Rollins, they tore each other to shreds. And well, this man, he was in the match with Empire's Drew McIntyre to try and get that Intercontinental Championship. Elias seems to actually blame John Cena for not being Intercontinental Champion, having to defend it against five other men. As Cena was obviously looking to win that championship. Well, I've got to say, John Cena, my... 
plan I had before Mania, I did want him to win the Intercontinental Championship. He was going to come out on Raw, do an open challenge, and one of my favourites was to either instantly lose it to like Gargano or maybe even return of like Sami Zayn or something like that. But he would have lost it the very next night and a nice big surprise. A surprise return or debut. But he didn't win, so that went out the window. And well, they are partners in this match. The former tag team champions lost their championships in that four-corner tag team match at WrestleMania. Although they were never pinned or submitted in said match, it was Rhino who tapped out to Bobby Fish in that match. And well... Hawkins and Ryder, main event in Raw. They've been tag team champions for a good few months. More than a few months, actually. And Hawkins and Ryder. And they're going to team up with John Cena and Seth Rollins here. They take on Empire. This is your main event. Ah, as O'Reilly went straight on him there. Seth Rollins cannot be 100% tonight as on. Oh, he's going to show it here. And oh, he is. Going for his Zack Sabre Jr. moves. As Rollins getting out of that straight away. Rollins was in a, a bloodbath of a match with Dean Ambrose over that extreme championship at WrestleMania. John Cena, of course, was in that six-pack challenge. As Where the hell is Cena going? As Cena in the back. You are too big to be doing that. Hawkins and Ryder, of course, were in that four-corner match. Plenty of fighting happening in that. Roman Reigns, that main event, was insane he was in. Adam Cole was in the bloody ladder match for the Cruiserweight Championship. As Adam Cole trying to go after Cena here, Cena with that shot. And Cena. As Adam Cole. God, even the ladder match, trying to remember things that happened in the ladder match so many videos ago. <laughs> WrestleMania was in three parts. Then I had to catch up with the the attitude stuff. And I'm technically still behind. We're a week, a week behind still, man. The moment you take one day's rest, although it was after I made Great American Bash, my throat was gobbed. So many neck wrenches. As Adam Cole grabbing Cena here. Now John Cena making a, one of these special appearances here. And, oh, God, the ref got clubbed again. As Bobby Fish. As Emmett won the tag titles for the team. Tapping out Rhino, that leg lock of his. And we saw what they done to Finn Balor earlier tonight. And Cena pushes him off. And right into the corner again, man. Are they staying on him or what? I've seen it. Trying to get back into this here. As 
towards Rollins. I wonder will we see Ambrose again? I think you will. I really don't want to, to be honest. I really want Ambrose to actually leave. I think he's very boring and dull in WWE. He doesn't get to be what he can be. And somewhere like AEW, he could. I mean, I don't see AEW being PG since they've signed Jimmy Havoc. I want to see Dean Ambrose versus... Joe, I might see John Moxley versus Jimmy Havoc. <laughs> Not to mention, Dean Ambrose, if he felt like it, would be a hell of a person to show up in ICW if he wanted to get a little bit insane. Oops, sorry, John Moxley. As now, well, double team again. Zack Ryder on to Bobby Fish. As Zack Ryder scoops him up, everyone's second favourite move right on the top rope. Ryder into the car. Ryder's wasted no time in this match. Woo, 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 you know it. Broski boot time to Bobby Fish. Now Hawkins and Ryder, man. Zach Ryder is on a roll right now. After losing those tag titles, the rough Ryder on Bobby Fish. As he hooks the leg of Bobby Fish here. And no, oh, he got his shoulder up. Is that Ryder coming out the gate running? You're absolutely right into Bobby Fish there. And Broski putting the rough Ryder, but Bobby Fish able to get that shoulder up just. And oh, and a neck breaker. As oh, he jumps up, makes the tag to Adam Cole. And Cole with that knee there. And down to the floor. And into the ring. As he jumps up, makes a tag to Kurt Hawkins. And oh, he got whacked as soon as he came in. And God, another one. And Adam Cole now. Just stretching him out. And oh, Hawkins takes him down. And oh, is he going for everyone's second favourite move again? Right on the top rope. Yeah, you're not getting up there. Oh, no, he did. And Hawkins might be thinking an elbow of his own. Right off the top rope there. And Kurt Hawkins now looking over at Empire. He wants his tag title back. Kurt Hawkins got a taste of having a championship. He wants it back. Too much taunting there though as Cole sent him into the corner. Right off the corner he goes. As oh, go oh, down man, flatliner there. Ah, he's into the corner. And Hawkins with a big shot. And Hawkins now stalking Adam Cole. And Hawkins plants him. As he hooks the leg. And the old man, Kurt Hawkins, got the pinfall in the main event of Raw. There you go. That is what you do right there, people. <laughs>
John Cena doing high risk that he should never do. And Zack Ryder decided he wanted a go. And Zack Ryder, man, he came right out the gates in this one, man. Landing that broski boot. And then the Rough Rider. But Kurt Hawkins. There was his elbow. And Kurt Hawkins. Man, oh man. I'm quite happy Kurt Hawkins done that there. That was great. Well, it's a celebration ending as the Empire don't get what they wanted tonight with Drew getting put down, Balor getting kicked out. It's definitely a night of surprises. Finn Balor kicked out of Empire. Drew pretty much gets squashed off Strowman. Elias has turned heel. Ember Moon is back. Alexa's back into the, the picture as well. The Velveteen Dream has arrived. The Iconics won back the women's tag titles. Bobby Lashley's still a prick. And Kurt Hawkins got a pinfall victory in the main event of Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. Hit the description for likes to Twitch and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next episode.